Well, some neighbors in Camas are afraid their pets are not safe after a man's two dogs are shot and killed. They believe a neighbor with a grudge against dogs is making sure that some family pets disappear. First dog that he blasted was our first family puppy. The two boxers, Diesel and Titus, were well known in their Camas neighborhood. Oh, that is so maddening. I knew those dogs too. That's really, oh, well that's liked. really sad. The dog's owner, Jamie Coulson, tells a Clark County Animal Control investigator his dogs were never aggressive. Witnesses told Coulson how a neighbor pulled out his shotgun in front of a 15-year-old boy and then opened fire. And so he steps around him and just blasts the one dog away. And then shoots the other one who runs off and he tells them he's going to go hunt it down. Colson says about seven pets have gone missing in this neighborhood and he's not only worried for his remaining cat Snowball, he's also worried for his kids. He's made threats if I see your dog in the road or your kids in the road, I'll run him over and like the, you know, shortly afterwards we found a dog run over in the road. Along Northeast George Road. Well, I'm concerned about him that he might um, do this to other dogs. A neighbor of the shooter says she keeps an extra close eye on her toy Australian Shepherd. We've heard about other dogs going missing, but um, there's no proof of how they disappeared. The shooting deaths of Diesel and Titus followed two other animal cruelty investigations this week. A Troutdale man admitted to trapping and killing a neighbor's dog after he says it killed dozens of his chickens. And earlier this week, a service dog was seriously injured after being shot with an arrow. Colson calls it a senseless end for his dogs. One, a lifelong pet. The other, he recently rescued. And we told them we were going to give it a better home. And I talked to the investigator who says there is a whole lot going on in this case, and he'll probably send it to the prosecutor's office so the DA will then decide whether to file charges.